Hi everyone, we're currently looking for some EPS, like these EPS lumps here behind me. We can also accept it in cold press block form, like these guys around here. Here's an example of the larger EPS cold press blocks that we're after. And one of the things we're going to look for is sticky tape and paper labels and, and other contaminants. And the easiest way for us to do that is start digging into the end of a block. And if we start to find a lot of sticky tape and paper label, it's going to devalue your commodity. Let's go and check out the smaller EPS blocks because you may also have a machine that produces them. Smaller cold pressed EPS blocks like these ones here. Nice and clean, nice and white. Again, you want to dig around in the end of these blocks and make sure that there's no sticky tape and paper labels in there. If you have this material, we want to know about it.